Albert Einstein, the solitary traveler, changing the world alone and capturing the universe. The whole world acknowledges Albert Einstein as the greatest physicist of all time. Countless works, anecdotes, and articles have been written about this man. The more one delves into the life of this genius scientist, the more paradoxes are discovered. He once declared, I am truly a solitary traveler and have never belonged to my country, my home, my friends, or even my family. You are watching a video on the, the Famous People channel. Let's sit back and get started. Born on March 14, 1879, in a small German village, Albert Einstein was the first child of a middle-class Jewish couple, Hermann Einstein and Pauline Einstein. The family led a modest life with a business in featherbed sales. From his birth, young Albert caused concern for his parents due to signs of slow intellectual development. He only started to utter his first words at the age of three, and his German pronunciation was far from accurate. Additionally, he preferred solitude, showing no interest in playing with other children. Once, he sat silently like a statue in a room all day long, fixating on a compass, completely engrossed and unblinking. These distinctive behaviors accompanied Einstein throughout his schooling. Despite the strict regulations of the German education system, Einstein did not adhere to doing homework or responding to teachers' questions, instead pursuing his own thoughts and ideas. This often led him to ask peculiar, tough-to-answer questions that even his teachers preferred to ignore, treating him as an insignificant student. Consequently, Einstein's academic performance was not impressive, even disappointing. Einstein's headteacher expressed clear dissatisfaction, you are a different child, solitary, naive, and lacking discipline. I do not believe you will succeed in any field. His classmates also shunned him, leading to an unfortunate situation in early 1895, in his final year of high school, Einstein was expelled. Moving with his family to Milan, Italy, Einstein was forced to attend a preparatory course. During his admission test to the Federal Polytechnic School in Zurich, Switzerland, he was unfortunately rejected. The reason was not only poor grades but also because he had not completed high school. In 1896, in an ironic twist of fate, Einstein had to continue his education at Arau High School, without family support, friends, and even citizenship. He had renounced his German nationality but could not acquire Swiss citizenship due to being under 21. No one paid attention to this thin, odd, unremarkable, and somewhat out-of-place young man. By 1905, Albert Einstein had published a paper in Annalen der Physik, which later became a fundamental basis for the special theory of relativity. However, at that time, the voice of a relatively unknown person like Einstein was almost ignored. Perhaps it was because the ideas presented in his paper were too novel, bold, and complex for many to comprehend. It was not until a mathematics teacher in Krero, Poland, read the paper and was utterly astonished. He urgently recommended to Max Planck, a famous German physicist, at an international conference, please pay attention to this work. It is an idea that can be compared to Nicholas Copernicus's revolution. Although Max Planck and a few others later recognized it, Einstein's theory was initially considered crazy and unacceptable by the majority of the scientific community because it seemed to offend the sensibilities of the era. This was understandable since physics had long revered the famous master Isaac Newton. Newton's ideas were based on the principle that all objects are immutable in space and time. This was regarded as an eternal law, the natural order, the will of God. But now, an ordinary office worker, accustomed to sifting through documents at the patent office in Bern, Switzerland, dared to declare, Newton's path was the only correct one that people of his era could take. His principles still hold value in the field of physics research. But to truly understand the nature of the universe and the world, these principles need to be replaced with others, going beyond direct experimentation. Albert Einstein, through his special theory of relativity, presented a revolutionary perspective on the relationship between space, time, and velocity. 
He suggested that as the velocity of an object increases, time passes slower for that object, and when it reaches the speed of light, about 300,000 km per second, time would nearly stop, approaching zero. Einstein succinctly described this principle, according to Newton, when matter disappears, space and time still exist. But according to me, when matter disappears, space and time instantly vanish too. This idea, even to this day, still encounters skepticism, let alone at that time. The revolutionary concept of relativity overturned traditional perceptions of the world. Einstein faced heavy criticism. He was accused of not only presenting anti-scientific arguments but also of thoughts that were offensive to God. The history of human thought has shown that understanding the natural world based solely on common sense and experience can lead to errors. Einstein had to confront deep-seated scientific prejudices in the subconscious of many people and of the era he lived in. He was like a lone fisherman, fishing in the tumultuous sea, unable to foresee what lay ahead. As a result, Einstein's theory of relativity was initially rebuffed and more often ridiculed than recognized. Although his contributions in other fields were acknowledged, in 1921, the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences awarded Einstein the Nobel Prize for his discoveries related to the photoelectric effect, not for the theory of relativity. This reflected the cautious approach of the scientific community when faced with groundbreaking and revolutionary ideas. Albert Einstein, one of the greatest minds of the 20th century, was not only famous for his significant contributions to physics but also known as a passionate social activist and a tireless fighter for peace. During Hitler's dictatorship, a cruel event unfolded, the Nazis put a bounty of 20,000 marks on his assassination. However, Einstein's opposition to war was not born out of personal vendetta but stemmed from a deep hatred for authoritarian forces and blind progress. However, his life fell into a major tragedy towards the end. When World War II broke out in 1939 and when Einstein learned that Hitler was striving to develop an atomic bomb, he decided to persuade US President Franklin D. Roosevelt to accept the atomic bomb project he proposed. Einstein's goal was to prevent the development of atomic weapons by Nazi Germany. Fortunately, Nazi Germany did not achieve its goal, while the United States successfully tested the first atomic bomb at Bikini Atoll. The nuclear disaster was drawing very close, amidst the near defeat of fascism. Realizing the unimaginable consequences of nuclear weapons, Einstein, along with other scientists, immediately sent an urgent petition to the US government, requesting them to stop the plan to use the atomic bomb. This shows the complexity in Einstein's views and actions, transitioning from a supporter of developing atomic bombs as a defensive measure to a strong opponent of their use. Despite the urgent petition sent by Albert Einstein and other scientists, the then US President Harry S. Truman decided to drop two atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki on August 6 and 9, 1945. This act destroyed both cities, taking the lives of over 200,000 Japanese citizens. Upon hearing the news of this tragic event, Einstein was deeply enraged, sleepless, and lost his appetite. In his sorrow, he said, people curse the atomic bomb? Alas, it was I who pressed the button. These words deeply reflect the haunting guilt and torment in his mind for his unintended role in the creation of this destructive weapon. Towards the end of his life, Einstein felt extremely isolated and detached. In his memoirs, he wrote, I am truly a solitary traveler and have never belonged to my country, my home, my friends, and even my own family. However, Einstein's theories were later illuminated and affirmed by subsequent generations of the scientific community, shining brighter day by day. His work, especially the famous equation E equals mc squared, opened up possibilities for mankind to explore the universe. Albert Einstein, with his incredibly bold and unique inventions, has become the greatest symbol of human perseverance in understanding and conquering the world. Beyond his monumental scientific career, the life of German genius Albert Einstein was filled with interesting and unexpected stories. In 1896, 
Einstein met Maliva Merrick while both were students at the University of Zurich in Switzerland. Their love blossomed in the subsequent years. By 1900, as Einstein graduated and began job hunting, Merrick failed her final exams and had to work in a laboratory while preparing for a retake. During this time, they discovered Merrick was pregnant with Einstein's child. In early 1902, Merrick gave birth to their first daughter, Lizerl, at her parents' home in Serbia. However, details about Lizerl are unclear, and related documents vanished post-birth. Einstein and Merrick reunited in 1903 and married in Bern, Switzerland. A year later, they welcomed their first son, Hans Albert. Their third child, Edward, was born in 1910. Around 1912, while Einstein was a professor at the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology, he began an affair with Elsa, his cousin. In 1914, Einstein, Merrick, and their two sons moved to Berlin. Shortly after, Merrick decided to return to Switzerland with the children. Einstein filed for divorce in 1916, and the divorce was finalized in 1919. As part of the divorce agreement, Merrick would receive the money from the Nobel Prize that Einstein was to receive in 1921. This is perhaps one of the most unusual divorces in history, where a prestigious award became part of the divorce settlement. After officially divorcing Maliva Merrick, Albert Einstein married Elsa, his cousin and second wife. Elsa became a trustworthy collaborator and companion for the remainder of Einstein's life. She stood by him during the brightest periods of his career, accompanied him on global trips, and cared for him in times of illness. Though Einstein had two wonderful wives, neither of his marriages was perfect. His love was like his theory of relativity, never fully devoted to either wife, devoid of absolute love. However, he remained faithful to his passion for physics. In 1933, Einstein settled in Princeton, USA. He delivered numerous speeches advocating for world peace. He lived 22 years in America and passed away on April 17, 1955, due to internal bleeding caused by an aortic aneurysm. Previously, in 1948, he underwent surgery by Dr. Rupert Nelson. He was drafting a speech for the Seventh Independence Day of Israel on his way to the hospital, but he couldn't complete it. He refused further surgery, saying, I want to go when I want. It is tasteless to prolong life artificially. I have done my share, it is time to go. I will do it elegantly. He died in Princeton Hospital the following morning at the age of 76. His body was cremated, and his ashes were scattered around the Institute for Advanced Study in Princeton, New Jersey. Einstein's departure was a great loss to the world of science and humanity. Though he is no longer with us, his legacy and name remain immortal, as he once said, we all die, but our collective creative endeavor will last forever. Thank you for watching the video on the Famous People channel. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button below to support our team. If you like our video, please hit like and leave the name Albert Einstein in the comments section. See you again.